Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to be doing a bit of a dimensional alternative look. Um, as you can see on my nails I have and the nail samples that I have here, I wanted to kind of share two different methods of how I do this look. It's actually super duper easy. I love doing this because you can do it with really any color combination and it's amazing. So um, these two sets are actually done with two alternative methods. One is using dip powder. As you can see here, this is my blues that I'm using. I'm using this gorgeous, like, blue sparkly, um, pretty color. And then I have this, like, shimmery one. I'll have all of them, like, listed down in the description box, but, um, like, the kind of like a milky white, a flaky blue. And as long as you have different textures and colors in there, it's great. And as you can see there, I have a little bit of a clear spot. And that was completely on purpose because I like it there to be a lot of dimension. So I have my cute little nail stand here. I have pre-buffed my nail. And it's ready to go. So a lot of my designs that I do are not pre-planned. <laughs> um... There's no specific rhyme or reason in how I do this, and I find that the less you stress about it, the better it looks. I'm just going to lay out all my colors here so that they're easy to access and, you know, easy to just dunk in there. And the idea is that when you're making your own sets or doing your own nails, you would start from the lightest to, and go to the darkest. Um, not how it's set up here, because <laughs> I'm a dumb butt and just don't think those kind of things through. But you would take your nails or your um your press on nails and you're just going to take your glue and just do the most random designs and you're just gonna dip it shake off any excess powder and then just let it sit for a hot second now something that i really like to do but for especially these layered looks is i like to actually um add the activator to each individual layer because it helps it s to stop um, bleeding so much and it helps it set because if you just let it be sometimes the it can move around a little bit and I don't like that now the reason that you are not going to do what I did you're going to start from the lightest and go to the darkest is that you may have the um, mistake of mixing your colors you want you should have done the white first because it's actually going to get all over like your powder in the jar and that's unfortunate and I did that but this is just a warning so you don't do that. <laughs> I'm going to be doing my glittery white next and I like to kind of do it in bits and pieces. Um, you're actually going to be doing it in thinner layers than I am. My glue is a bit dry because I use it a lot and I left the cap off for too long but um, if you apply it in thinner layers it's actually going to be less bulky and it's going to be less filing at the end so i have my colors here i'm not doing double dipping i'm literally just going to be doing one dip and that's it it's super quick and simple and i want to have all the different textures because the more textures you have the cooler it looks and it just changes up the look a little bit you don't want to be doing all plain colors and all just glitters like I mean I'm sure plain colors could look if they like look good if they were um different colors but the issue with glitter is that it just becomes one huge glitter bomb and it just doesn't start to look good like it just looks like a hot mess express everywhere I like to kind of mix both the glitter and the um the solids because it just gives it a better texture so you can see here that it's looking a little bit more layered I'm gonna add my little layer of blue to give it that last little bit of alternative color after I finish uh, applying the app, uh, the activator. And it's okay if there's little spots of clear. I actually kind of like the look of that because it makes it look a little bit more unique and a bit different. And you're going to be capping everything in clear anyway, so don't worry about having any random weak spots because the clear is going to do you good. Now. One thing I would suggest, I am showing the method where I just dip it, however, what I would suggest is applying a clear layer of either like soft gel or hard gel or um, acrylic on top because the issue with applying the uh, clear layer as like a regular dip 
it just doesn't lay it out evenly and you're gonna have to do a lot more filing because because of the layered look of the design it's just kind of a little bit bumpy and then it makes it very difficult to file it afterwards because then you're sitting there for such a long time so if you at least if you do um an overlay and you just kind of um I'm, I'm blanking so hard on the word encapsulate if you just cap it then that way it just it makes it so much easier for filing so as you can see here i'm just applying clear over the whole top of the coat plus the the best thing about um encapsulating the design is that you're not going to drag glitter onto parts you don't want there to be glitter on so that's the downside of just doing it as a regular dip Now obviously you would do each color over all of your nails, like you do all the blue and then you would put that blue away and then you do all of your white on all your fingers and then put that white away. And then, Cause you wanna just do it all at once. You don't wanna be doing each individual color for each individual nail cause it would take you just way, way, way too long and it's just not ideal. I'm going to double dip this cause I was trying to give it some layers, but again, the issue with just dipping it is that uh, you come across the issue where now certain parts are still much, much thicker and other parts are much, much thinner and that just isn't ideal. I'm trying to fill in the gaps a little bit here and there, but it doesn't, it doesn't do a whole heck of a lot. <laughs> Learn from my mistakes. Do as I say, not as I do. Cause I'm clearly a professional. <laughs> I am guys, I promise. All right, so we're gonna apply the activator on the top after brushing off any excess powder. I'm going to activate it and then we're gonna set that aside so we can start on the gel version of the uh, dimensional nails. Beautiful. Trust me, you guys, it's gonna look so much better at the end as with all nail art, you look at it and you're like, why? <laughs> and then you're like, oh, okay, this makes so much more sense. Alrighty, tidy. So I just picked random, just really random gels that I had on hand. I don't particularly love any one of them. Like, I don't mind the holographic one. It's kind of pretty. Um, the silver, I don't really use that often because it's just very sparse, even with the whole sponge method. And the only one I really truly use a lot is this pink here. It's just so pretty. I love it. I got it at this random um, show, the ESI actually, uh, in Toronto. And I cannot find this dang thing ever again. Like, once it's gone, like, it's gone. <laughs> Like, I'll never find it ever again. So with this method, guys, it's actually super similar. You do have to cure in between because I am using gel polishes. I'm sure that this method could be used with nail polish. However, you're going to have a much longer waiting time, which is not necessarily ideal. But I've already uh, pre-buffed and applied a base coat to my nail. And I'm just going to be applying my white into some random little waves and patterns now what i do like about gel with this method is that you can get some really nice brush stroke looks with this which you can't really get with dip um it's such a beautiful option to do if you're looking for some designs to throw together if you know a client just says oh do whatever and you can kind of just be like okay and then that'll be your whatever and very rarely will they get mad at you and you can use up colors that you don't necessarily use all the time all right, so that seems to be nice and tacky, but still dry and cured enough. So I'm going to be applying my pink and my little bits here and there. And you can pick more of a pigmented pink than I did. I ended up changing my mind a little bit later and doing some like pink little streakies that was not in my original swatch. I know, blasphemous. But... You know, you don't have to be the exact same every single time you do it, which is kind of why I like marble and, and all these different ones, because they just aren't necessarily meant to be exactly the same. If you're doing it on the same set of nails, like, if as long as the colors are coordinating, like, who cares? Like, just do whatever the heck you want. I'm going to be just doing my different layers and curing in between each one, so I'm just going to do a bit of a speed through, and we'll be right back. <laughs>
Okay, dokie, okay, okay, okay. So we're going to be doing the stamping now. I got this fantastic texture plate from Born Pretty. And I know, I know a lot of the artists out there are like, why aren't you cleaning it properly with the proper plate cleaning stuff? I don't have it, okay? <laughs> I need to get it. I'm just lazy. I need to place an order with the clear jelly polish. No, clear stamping, clear jelly stamper one of those and they have this fantastic stuff i've been being super ghetto and just been using like uh like those like sticky you know like the, what the ones you use on your clothes for fur i just been like take it tearing off pages of those and just using that to take off the extra polish from my stamper because i would just used i used to I just wipe it with acetone and then when i was telling my nail like my uh you know nail artist friend who works in the same industry as me, she was like looking at me like I had committed murder and I was like, I'm sorry. So this is for you, Amber. This is for you. <laughs> um, I'm just doing a really nice thick looking um, sign here because I wanted to cover a bit more. I didn't want to see as much of the design underneath and it just looks so pretty. So this works with pretty much anything and i'm not using traditional stamping polish for those of you at home you can get stamping polish i would highly suggest getting stamping polish however if those of you who are at home don't have easy access to stamping polish one brand i actually absolutely love um from walmart actually is called sinful colors they have a much thicker consistency to them than a lot of other nail polishes and it just really 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 gives it a beautiful thickness and the the images that come off of it are perfect it's a little bit willy wonky with the um the blacks because i had one black that was a perfection it could have just been that i left the cap off too long and that's why i got great but the all the other blacks i've bought since then are like watery and not very pigmented and it makes me so sad because i bought like 15 of them or something ridiculous and then I just don't use them because all of them are watery. It just makes me really mad. <laughs> Anywho, so I'm going to speed this portion up for you because this filing took an obscenely long time because I did not cap it properly. I know, shame on me. Uh, but it is super nice because you get to shape it and you get to smooth out the top. And it'll be so much easier when you do it on yourself. Um... You can just do this with a regular file. You don't have to use an e-file, but I like to use it because otherwise I will get carpal tunnel in my hand because I do nails an obscenely <laughs> large amount of hours. So this is just like to protect myself. You guys can find some really nice nails actually on um, Amazon if you're just starting out, if you're using it for personal use. However, if you guys are actually nail artists, then one place I would really suggest would be more so uh, Cosmoprof because this is where I got, the, like their file was like 99 bucks or something like that. It was really good price and I've been using it for years now and I love it. It fits pretty much every single piece that I put into it, every bit, and it's great. Like it has a really good um, speed to it and it doesn't, uh, it doesn't skip which a lot of Amazon ones do. I'm just applying a top coat. I always double top coat. I don't care what's happening, who it is, what's going on. Like I will always, always, always double top coat because it's going to fill in any little holes or little, you know, misshapen happenings. And certain designs, like um, the downside of Sinful Colors, it's not a stamping polish, but it sometimes creates little weird little pockets. Um because it just, the top coat kind of just rejects itself from it. I don't know what's happening, it just does it. So by double top coating, it really gets every single little bit and piece that might have been missing, and it just creates this beautiful shine. I'm using um, the America Nail uh, top coat. I have both the matte and the shiny, because the shiny version comes with this amazing huge bottle that I can just refill as much as I need because I go through an obscene amount of top coat um but I just love it it does not come with a refill for the matte which is unfortunate but you can find great options on Amazon as well Born Pretty has some beautiful polishes gel polishes top coats base coats but I have a Amazon um must-haves that I am putting together for those of you who are interested in getting stuff for yourself. 
um, maybe even other nail artists who are looking for some reliable sources. Now, please keep in mind that I am based in Canada. So my prices and my products are going to look different for those who are in the US. But I do find that you lucky US people tend to have a lot better options including like beetles i've heard a lot of really good uh things about them but for fellow canadians born pretty is great um i really enjoy meet across um there's lots of really affordable gel polish brands but please i'm begging you don't buy them from walmart <laughs> just don't <laughs> like not saying that it's bad i'm just saying that it's expensive you're gonna spend so much more on that stuff then you can get the exact same thing from amazon for like really inexpensive just saying all right, so this is the finished pink version. I'm like mixed about the pink. I'm mixed about it because I was like, oh, great idea. I'll add some more color. You don't have to do this. <laughs> I'm not mad at it, but like it's not my favorite child. You know what I mean? Like I like it. I just don't. Like, I like them. I just don't love them. <laughs> I swear I'm not a, I'm not a terrible human. I promise you. <laughs> I'm just finishing with my second top coat of uh, my dip powder nail, and that's going to cure. Honestly, it is a very relaxing experience. You don't have to worry about perfect lines and perfect, you know, designs, everything. It just is so easy. Thank you guys so much for watching today. If you guys have any questions or comments, please put them down below, and I am so open to hearing anything you have to say. So I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, and take care. Bye, y'all.